Hi, this is Russ Vaughan for theforestblog.com and we're here on the Colville National Forest. And we're in an area that has had some historical management. You can see some old stumps. We're right next to a class one road, a level one road for the Forest Service. And we've been going for miles and there's really been no management. And what we really need to look at is how we can come in here and take some of these smaller trees to leave some of these larger, uh, more healthy trees on the landscape so they can survive wildfire, beetle and inf insect infestation. And the beauty of all this is we can leave these bigger trees now and make the products of the future out of these smaller trees and utilize the smaller diameter trees to make mass timber products. So we can do all the things that we used to do with these larger trees with the smaller trees and we can manage this forest for for big trees and manage around them in perpetuity. And I think you can see here, we've got multiple layers of trees. So if we have a fire come through here, it's gonna easily climb up these small trees and into the canopies of these larger trees. The problem with that is these trees have naturally thick fire resistant bark. And that fire resistant bark is to withstand fires that are on the forest floor. When we add all this fuel and it goes up into the canopy, it kills the trees that are naturally supposed to withstand these fires. So managing around these trees actually will save the forest rather than harm it.